today we're doing t- uh <laughs> we're doing passion twists so uh first you want to take a part and go across your head and you want to go straight down the middle and also you want to make some box braid boxes or just boxes in general with the rat tail comb both plastic and a metal end if you only have one that's totally fine but i just prefer both for cleaner parts so after you take some shiny jam and some hair food i'm gonna pick, take a picture of the one that i use right there you're gonna tie it up with a rubber band the rubber band will keep the crochet into place and once you what you do with the crochet needle is you stick it through the base of your hair up under the rubber band and you take the weave the weave I'm using is 22 inches and it's water wave and it's like this uh, I'll put the link in the description it was like $4.99 at the beauty supply store I think and um, yeah so you just take two pieces and you stagger them on top and you hook it so after you hook it close the latch and you pull it through and make sure that you pull both pieces through and after that, you're gonna tie it like a shoelace. My video is based off of the Candace uh, Jones channel, and this is the beginner's easy rubber band method. I don't know any other methods, but this is the one that worked for me, and this is what I used to do my hair. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna twirl each so section into uh, different directions, and I'm gonna do a more detailed uh, slow down pick so you guys can see what I'm actually doing instead of me just talking and trying to explain it to y'all. Uh, but yeah, you gotta twirl all the way until you get to the end and it should stay as long as you twirl in different and opposite directions So once again, I'm just taking some shining gem and making sure that I slick it down both the synthetic hair and my real hair um, To make sure that no ends stick out So like I said, you stick the crochet through the base You hook the hair and be sure to stagger them and stagger just means to stack them on top of one another and you close the latch so after you close the latch, just pull it through once again. And here's a slow down pick of what I was doing. So you make a loop, like the little bunny and the hoop in <laughs> that story of when you were learning to tie your shoes. And you just pull it through as so. And make sure that you're pulling the side that's uh, farthest away from the loop. So that for me was the right side. And after I pulled it through, I made sure that no other hair from the other side was coming through with that side. And um, I just pulled it tightly without like straining my hair, my real hair, that is. And guys, I want you to know that it's okay if you mess up on your first time. I know that I sure did my first few trials doing this. And no one's perfect, so don't give up. Just keep trying and keep trolling and keep twisting and keep swimming until you finally figure out what flow works for you. So after that, um, you just keep twirling in opposite directions, like I said. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but after that, I just put some more uh, hair growth food on my edges because they need to grow back. And I took some shiny jam and a comb and did my edges. And I got cute. So, yeah, that was the tutorial. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm trying to record. Dang, what a thing at. What a crush I needed. I done lost everything. Oh, here it is. I'm trying not to lose this angle, though. At the point, only, girl. At this point. <laughs> I done dropped the phone.